right now with my man Murdoch. We at the funk spot, the legendary funk spot. Hey, what's up y'all, this is Record Monster. One boy called it the funk spot, it's all that, you know what I'm saying, it's the funk lab. The laboratory is what it is. We got Ugly back there working on the MV8000. We got Warren working on some more lyrics too. This is my first like, independent album, like for LP or whatever. All original beats, of course everything written by me. I've got some of the dopest features on it, some of the dopest producers on it from all over the country and shit. Got a lot of niggas from Deltona that fucking played a big part in the album and shit. And now uh, basically it's like an album I've been working on for three years and shit. I put my everything into it. It's just like 29 years of fucking life wrapped into three fucking years with the rhymes and shit. And that's what you get with the way. No gimmicks. Man, ugly. The the still like a third of the album. They cuts like versions and um, cast a day good. Uh, go by ugly. Um, you know, make, making beats for the greater part of 15 years. And I, I use the 2000 XL, the EPS 16, um, the ASR 10. Uh, well, I need I need to know either way. I need you to spit it because I need to know where all, where all the bars begin and end. And how much how much space in between Beach. each fucking I'm gonna, do this. I'm gonna play the verses out for you while I'm in. I don't have a timer on it. Fucking what you gonna call it? In between fucking verses, you know what I mean? Leave it for a four count or whatever so you can do his spin on it. Second verse, four count, third verse, I'll turn it the fuck you want to add whatever fuck you wanna add, whatever you wanna do. This is gonna be sick, man. <laughs> This is uh, just a temporary setup so we can put some cuts in here for uh, a couple tracks. To keep doing the shit, I wanted to start a live band backing me doing the shit. And I got lucky and I met five motherfuckers that are really talented and fucking dedicated to the shit, you know. My drummer, Johnny Johnson, he's the nigga who actually set the whole shit up. He hit me up on reverb and was like, yo, let's roll with it. different backgrounds and different walks, man. Uh, I hit up Born, 
several months ago and it's like, hey man, let's do a live project. Uh, I got a rock, R&B, funk back, background, bass player babbing, rock, funk, jazz. He actually used to be my boys back in the day at Bill Hurd and shit. Bill Hurd sucked, but this nigga's a dope ass drum, a drummer or whatever. Joe, keyboard player, country, blues, jazz, rock and roll, uh, brood guitar player, pretty much plays everything. Uh, Jenna, about as well rounded as they come. Born speaks for himself, man. style or lane or nothing, you know what I mean? I got like a lot of influences and shit. Noms. Pocket and big, like I was I was real big off that whole golden era type shit. So I guess it came down to the swag. Either that or the fact that I ain't play a fag. Playing with the skinny pants and silly rap dances. Life is too serious, my niggas fighting cancer. My take on hip hop today. Shit is garbage. I'm not, I'm not gonna be PC about it. That shit's real trash. I feel like it's getting better. I feel like everything's got its lane, and I feel like there's no balance no more. You're getting a lot more corny shit than you're getting the nonsense in the comments and then play. You're getting more wacko, flacko, and all that bullshit. And I think that's kind of corny, bro. Every time I touch my Every time I touch my Every time I Every time I touch my the pill, shot by my nigga Murdoch, man behind the game right now. It was uh, it was completely all shot in Del Tone, which was tight to me, that was major to me. Even the graph pieces was done by my nigga Ugly and shit. All that was done on the house of Del Tone party at and shit. And if I'm gonna talk about the good shit about Del Tone, I'm gonna talk about the bad shit. And basically I was talking about all the shit that wasn't right with me at the time and shit. Like my, my boy Moses passing, you know. I just felt like it needed to be talked about, and that's why I went with the pill, and it came out really dope, man. People love the shit. I love the song. Basically, the end goal with this whole shit is uh, to be able to do gigs and be compensated for my work, and basically to take care of my kid after that. Nothing else really matters and shit, you know. Hopefully a deal comes out of it that's worth signing. Um, if not, get to work on the next album. I'm gonna keep doing shit as long as people keep digging it, you know. So I'm having fun. Record monster, chilling at the born shoot. You know I'm saying I'm about to do this. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So ready to record when you are. So what are you gonna be spending? What are you gonna be doing? He's gonna now. I recording me, not you actually, it's me. Gotcha. But getting getting all this down. <coughs> that way you got a proper version. See all this all right, time? Yep. Fuck I hate reading all these bits. <laughs> Yo. Check. Check. What I'm doing right now. This is the whole wake, like all written on the computer and shit. It was getting kind of hard to like keep track of my shit with a notebook, so I said, fuck it, I'm gonna write my songs on the fucking laptop. Casadega, popped at the funk shop. I'm waking the dead like a Saiyan's in this bitch. Shit, I'm saying, super saying, you ain't saying shit. So here comes the flip, radio wave. Run up on a DJ, gun cock, like where's my radio play? Hitting proof to the liver, go green with the mono. With a ball like Britney and drop beats on Rihanna. Gotta roll with the punches like your ass, cause the motto. Let it all on these nuts, that's the motto. I get a gas, I'm thinking the cash legal. Cold taking bitches, chase the ring like Schmeagle. Choose between evils, broke or the fame. Doing bumps off the gas stacks, I'm popping two chains. Pop a few things.
getting sedated like Coltrane Give you all a heads up, I'm going like Cobain Blow Crazy shit is I sent my press kit to venues all over America None of them niggas hit me back I sent seven out over to London Four of them niggas hit me back to do gigs So, unless you know something's fucked up over here But they show love, man. They're mad, acceptive of the music. They're like, they dug it, you know what I mean? <coughs> I loved it out there, man. I just didn't think the food up was. I'd be out there. I'd try to move out there if the food didn't suck so much. He was there for the food, no lie. Yeah, right, nigga. I eat Pringles the whole time. Yo, been rocking with me all night. I'm shooting shoot a documentary for my album. I want you guys to all do me a favor. Look at the camera right now. Look at the camera three. I want y'all to say, I love born in the flying line. One, two, three. West End, downtown Sanford. About to rock real quick. Like I said, man, this is the first venue that gave me my first break, man. They usually do a lot of uh, reggae type bands and whatnot, so it's always dope when they bring in a hip hop act and, and give me that chance and shit, you know what I mean? It's the manager right here, the mic. Alright. Going all day. Sitting over here. So the venue, like I said, West End is the first venue that let me uh, come out here and rock. They're the first cats that let us come out here and do hip hop and shit. So, so special coming out here and rocking. <sighs> Tonight's gonna be real dope though, man. And they just added that new stage and shit, so my goal is to be the first cat jumping off that stage mm -hmm. tonight. I ain't got no insurance though, so we're gonna see how that plays out. You got niggas bootlegging boy shirts and shit now, bring it back. That's some funny man. But you told me she was making one. So like, nah, why don't you buy the fucking real shit? Yo, yo! Yo! What's She's talking about cat boot making boy shirts and shit. Like it. I got this shit off of this dude in the corner, yo. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, for Jamaican? Yeah, Jamaican dude. Yeah, Jamaican 121. You can sell them socks and shit, dude. Socks and Lucy? Yes, sir. Word. I'll be in in a second, man. Cool, man. Do you think? I was into it, I'm gonna have a fucking good time, and they were there, man, they were with me, man. I don't need a packed house to have a good show, I just need 12 motherfuckers to show me that love. And I'm gonna right. fucking ride out with them, you know, that's all I want. Y'all wanna hear some new shit? It ain't really new, but it's off my album, as you know, I've been working on an album for three years called The Wake. Dedicated to the real MCs who still pick their pen up. Run his block, baby. Wake, she gonna be sick. 
Y'all know how dedicated Warren is, so he puts his heart in that shit. <laughs> it could end any, it could end, the, it could end the more, man. Tomorrow ain't promised, man. I'm just, I'm just happy to have good people around me, man, and they keep me humble and they keep me doing it. Don't get it twisted. There were plenty of nights where I was like, yo, fuck hip hop. I don't want to do this anymore. And having those cats around me and having this music and having my daughter and shit kept me focused, man. So we'll see what happens, you know what I mean? If, if it's meant for me to be on that TV, then cool. If it's meant for me to be rocking the block until I'm 40 or whatever, then so be it. As long as people are digging the music and they're coming out, I'm going to be here doing it. That's it. So far, it's just been bananas already. I can't wait to hear the next seven, eight, nine, ten, whatever many songs you put on there. This is gonna be crazy, man. I'm on camera. Fuck that shit, son. <laughs> Fuck this nigga, son. No white people alive. Fuck that shit. That's a real documentary. Fuck whitey. Indian ass. You ain't allowed in here. Yo, shout out to Born in the Fine Line. Did a great job tonight. I took that no, no, you put that heat back. Put that heat shit back on. Yeah, we're taking the whole thing. <laughs> Yo, Ram, keep doing what you're doing, baby. This shit is its gonna be a movement soon, man. Just keep it going. We love you, man. Keep it up. You said this shit was gonna happen, and now it's gonna happen. So. <laughs> Wrap it up here. This is Born. This is Born.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for fucking bumping my shit. Thanks for coming to the show. Sony can get better. It's the wake. It's been fun. Peace. That was tits. <laughs> Allow me to introduce these cats. On the fucking guitar. Skinny Hendrix, my nigga Brew Baker. My man on the keys, the silent assassin, Joe Goose. My man with that fucking bass. Heavy B, my nigga. It makes you think like, oh, this is a great idea to eat this it, fucker's face. I seen it on Intervention, you know B. I seen a nigga on Intervention. This nigga was on a roof with a fucking thing on it, bugging the fuck out. You clearly aren't thinking no more. So what is it, like, Tweak? I don't know. The nigga thought he could eat somebody. He ate a face. No, no, I seen that. Yeah. But I'm that saying, was... that's enough. That's enough right there. Yeah. That's enough. You know what I mean? I trip out already off of life. Nigga, imagine being on some bad soul, nigga. Eat a whole bitch and shit. Cities and all that.